I'm in the July 2017 release of Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operation and let's have a look at a feature called Bring Your Own Database. So this is a capability that's actually been in the platform for a while um, which gives you the ability to push data out of Dynamics into another database. That other database is something that you would own. For example, if you're running in the cloud, it would be on another subscription. And this is useful for data analytics scenarios where you want to publish to another data warehouse or other integration. So I'm going to go into data management here and I've got an option to configure uh, the entity export to database but um, before we can do that I'm going to create a database so I'm going to use SQL uh, Management Studio here now in this case I've updated to the Management Studio 17.2 um, um, and I'm doing this all on a one box machine now in theory I don't have to update the Management Studio um, I um, as long as I'm using SQL 2016 um, then I could support the clustered index option for example um, but in, in this case I've just updated the studio um, now in reality I'm doing this on the one box machine but uh, your database would be on another subscription so the connection that we're going to set up um, Dynamics obviously needs to be able to connect to that other database so in this case let's create a new database I'm going to call it my AX data for example and we'll say OK alright so I have my database created here now eventually we need to specify some login information so what we do need to do is make sure that a user can connect to it and so I'm going to use the AXDB admin so I'm going to map them to my database so I'm going to map them and make them a database owner so that they could log into this now that's my um, user connected so that I can connect to it um, and you'll see in a moment the connection so at this stage I don't have any tables in here because we haven't done anything here yet so now I can go back to my configure uh, into the export to database so let's go and put these parameters in so I'm going to hit new I'm going to call it AX data just to match AX data for example now you'll see it says Azure SQL DB now in production you might use an Azure SQL DB in my case I'm using um, my um, SQL server that's on my machine for example so the next is we need to fill in this connection string so I've created the connection string here and so what you'll see is this is the connection string and I'm using for the AXDB admin and I need to specify my password here so I'm going to copy the string um, as it is so really it is data source equals demo1 in this particular case that's my machine name so if we um, have a look at the machine name and then it's called demo1 my initial catalog setting is AX data that's the database name um, in this case integrated security is false because we're specifying a user ID and eventually the password here so I can get the password from LCS so I'm going to go up to LCS here and have a look at my machines in this case this is my v2 machine and um, then we can find our password here so I can click on the little eye icon and this will give me my password so I'm going to do that um, let's take our full string and I'm going to paste it over to um, our connection string here alright so I've got it in there um, I'm just going to pause the video while I get the password and put it in there. Alright, after I put the password at the end of the connection string, I simply hit validate and then 
what we should have there is a test complete successfully. If we don't get this, um, then it's not going to work, for example. So um, just be careful of that. Now, what we need to do is say which entities that we're going to publish. So I'm going to go up and let's say, for example, um, I'm going to publish the uh, customer entity. So let's find customer. Now, what we have and let's do that again so let's get rid of this and let's try it from our entity so customer all right so i'm going to use um, this entity um, now obviously we could use multiple entities so i'm going to use the v2 one for example so what we can do here is um, we can do a few things so um, one thing we need to do is you'll see the change tracking so you'll see change tracking is not enabled so you can change the change tracking and say entire entity or the primary table for example I'm going to hit entire entity and that will run so you'll see successfully enabled um, so then I'm going to hit publish. Now the publish option um, is what's going to publish the entity over to our database. So you'll see that the job has been created and that should be in process to publish. So if I now filter on show published, we'll see the published as yes. Alright, so if I now go to Management Studio, here's my um, database. I'm going to hit refresh and then if we look at the tables then I should have my table in there. Now if I look in the data um, I won't have any data in there. What we've just got is the schema um, published over there. We haven't got any data. So let's go and put some data in there. So um, the change tracking and the publish I need to do. So if you haven't published and then you won't be able to export the data so that's a key um, piece here so the next thing is let's go back to the data management and I'm going to create an export um, project here so I'm going to say customers bring your own database now the source format um, once we've created that um, entity setup parameters I'm going to see it here as a source format so in my case AX data so I've created it now in the entity names while we have the whole list of entities we can only pick the one otherwise you're going to get an error um, of the entities that were published so I've picked customers v2 and so this is needs to have been published to that uh, database. So in this case it's the first time I'm publishing it so I'm going to do a full push and then I'm going to say add entity. Now this is going to create the entity. Now in theory the map's going to be created because we've published the entity we're going to get a mapping. So you'll see the mapping is obviously going to be okay between uh, the staging table and the um, source which is obviously our um, database that we're publishing to so uh, that should be okay so I'm going to hit export and this is going to take a little while to process so I'll just pause the video while it processes alright so I got my completed message so I'm just going to hit refresh and that's going to tell me that it published 32 records over there. So now if I go back to SQL, if I'm going to execute the query again, then I'm going to get data um, in this table. So that's essentially the full end-to-end -end process. Now in my case, my data is obviously all on the same machine, but in reality, the database that you've created and the connection string that you provide up in the data management as long as the environments can see each other um, so as long as this connection string is valid um, then this database um, could be 
um, obviously anywhere and usually it's going to be in your own subscription because you're pushing it out uh, somewhere else for example so that's how essentially the basic features of bring your own database work and it's a good option if you want to take data out of dynamics on a regular basis for using in some other business analytics tool or some sort of data warehouse so you'll find that underneath the data management and you're going to find that um, set up under the configure into the export to data.